we are going to talk about 7M. And if you, you have not heard of 7M, oh my gosh, you should check out the, the documentary on Netflix. Daisy and I are fans of watching really, really, really talented dancers mm -hmm. doing their craft. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of that on TikTok. So um, one of the first dancers that we followed was Miranda Derrick. And I didn't realize that she even had like a sister thing way back when, but it used to be Melanie and Miranda. And I forget their last name, but it's something sisters. They had this huge account, the something sisters. It starts with a W and I don't remember. Um, and they danced together and they were amazing and they gained huge, huge, huge popularity. And then all of a sudden Miranda, um, was dancing without her and with a guy that she ended up marrying because they were um, in, they were in Michigan. They were in Detroit. They're from Detroit. And then they moved to California together to try to like do dancing there, which they, you know, they did. But Miranda w started going to this freaking church is what yeah. happened. And it was a yeah. church, you guys, but it, the yeah. church was, it, it's actually, it's a cult. It's she a got cult. Into this, it's a cult. Yeah. And it's, it's really bad. So she got sucked in. And, and when you hear about this, it's a TikTok dancing cult. <laughs> you hear There's that, so many, like, so many of the people that yeah. you might follow. It's making me wonder now if Twitch was in it. Remember yes. Twitch? Oh my gosh. Yes. I, yeah, I wonder if he was in suicide. It. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's such a, I wonder, that's very interesting. Yeah. Because he had some of those people on the Ellen show, like, cause some of these people have gone on Ellen, they've been in commercials, they do, but they funnel all their money to this Asian dude who is pastor of this church. And it is like, they, he takes so much of their money. Yeah. Oh it's like, my God. It's Scientology all over again is what it is. Yeah. And it's crazy. And it's under the guise of Christianity, but it's, it's not, it's like, a bastardization of Christianity is what it is. It's cr it's crazy. Well, and this three part, uh, and it's a very quick watch. So it's like just three episodes and the family. So the sister that isn't in the cult, um, and could tell right away when she went to church, uh, with Miranda, she was like, this is definitely not this for me. Whack. Right. It's totally whack. And then she saw her sister becoming more and more distanced from, from her and from the rest of her family, which and is what the is pastor which is this what the pastor is a, wants. Yeah. This is a tight knit family. Like they grew, these sisters were thick as thieves. They danced together their whole lives. They're super great parents. They like had this really tight knit family. And just like any other cult, the leader promotes you distancing right. yourself from your mm -hmm. family. So they started to see that. And then everything got like came to a head when it, the grandfather, and I forget whose side, but one of the grandfathers passed away and Miranda didn't come for the funeral. And that was like, whoa, like this has gone way, way, way mm -hmm. too far. Yeah. And so they, they hadn't spoken. They didn't hear her voice for like over a year. Yeah. And they started trying to put feelers out to everybody that would listen. Our daughter's in a cult. These other dancers are in a cult. Like something really whack is going on. And here. then other parents were like, oh my God, yeah. my kid is not answering me either like my boy has not talked to me in a year this is like we are concerned too so then some of the parents started kind of collecting like getting together and saying this is crazy what is it the name of the church is what it's uh i can't remember it starts with like, an s it's like so weird name it's like um, Sha so shakira or something like that yeah it's some weird some yeah it's, it's really church. yeah it's weird it's like it's it's a weird like i think it's like an asian name or something well, and he's, it's, here it is. Um, and he's had a past. Shekinah, like, Shekinah Church. Shekinah, right. And he has a past. This pastor has, he has had this going forever where this church mm -hmm. has been open forever and, and women have accused him of sexual assault, but they've never had anything stick, which I find really interesting. Like tons of women have come out against him and have, have accused him of sexual assault but like the police do nothing. They don't arrest him. But yet Trump has a woman that comes at him from 30 years ago. And then, you know what I mean? And he has to spend millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars to, for some judgment on him. Yeah. And, like, but the problem with the problem with this and every other cult is that at the time of the assaults, they are willing participants, even if they hate it, they do it with consent. Right. And so them coming out and saying years later, but I was like, my, I was brainwashed. There's like no law that protects adults who go into these cults willingly. Like there's right. nothing these pa the parents or families can do, which is so frustrating mm -hmm. for them. And so with this family in particular, then it was super interesting because the, the, um, two, I, I think like 
the first couple episodes come out and then all of a sudden you start seeing videos of the sisters together again and the family together and like happy mother's day messages from Miranda. And like, she went to her sister's wedding that was just a few weeks ago. And so then everybody was like, wait, so are you reunited? Like, are you together now? Well, in the last episode, you find out from the family that they only get to see Miranda if they agree that they cannot talk about the cult, mm -hmm. which is all they want to talk about. If you are a person like us that does not get enough fruits and veggies throughout the day because it's impossible to get the amount of fruits and veggies they tell you you need to get, it's impossible. Like, unless you are an actual creature that eats grass a and rabbit you know what i mean right. like yeah if you're a rabbit mm -hmm. maybe it's okay if you're sure. not a rabbit but you still want <laughs> the benefits <laughs> of getting real organic super food as part of your diet all the goodness and benefits that come from fruits and veggies if that is you and you want that and you want it in a delicious tasting beverage that is way easier to consume than the amount of fruits and veggies they tell you that you need to. Here is your answer. It's Field of Greens. It's a green powder that you just mix up in an eight ounce glass of water, shake it up real well, and you've got yourself yummy fruit drink. And that is a way that you can get your fruits and veggies in. It is so delicious. Otherwise, I would not be telling you about it because when they, when they first approached us and said, would you like to try this? I was like, green health powder? <laughs> Thank you, uh, no. thank you, but no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not for me. They were like, but just try it. And so I said, okay. And you were, of course, all about it because you'll try Yeah, anything. I loved it. I loved it. I'll try anything. <laughs> <laughs> but then how pleasantly surprised were you about the yeah. taste? My, right? I, I have the one that's like yellow green and it tastes like sweet tea. I mean. Which I love. I love and this it. is like a blueberry fruit punch mm -hmm. kind of. So, you know, whatever you're taking as your daily supplement, that's great, but it's not enough. You mm -hmm. need to add this to your diet. This will, you'll actually see differences in your lab results at the doctor's office. You'll feel more energy. You're going to see improvements in skin, hair, all of the things. This is miracle stuff right here. You can visit fogchicks, F O G chicks.com, and you can use code chicks to get 15% off your first order plus free rush shipping. So if you haven't had a chance to try it, now's a really great time. Get your 15% off free shipping and get healthy with fogchicks.com. So they've had this very weird, superficial, very surfacey, surface, very surface level right. relationship with her because it's the only way that they'll get to spend time with her. And now that the documentary is out, now it's like there's no way they're going to be able to have a relationship with her. Miranda came out like two days ago um, and you won't be able to hear this, which is why I but you can go to TikTok and find her. It's Miranda Derrick. And she can't. This is this uh, video right here is two days old. She came out and said her piece about the documentary, which was to say, um, now I'm getting death threats and now my life is in danger because my family has put all this out into the public and I am not in a cult and I'm, I don't have, there's no way we can have a relationship now. So I, it's done. It is totally done. I don't think there's even going to be the surface level stuff anymore. Um, and it's just so sad because Miranda is in a cult. And if you yeah. see the documentary, you will know. You'll see. Yeah, you'll see. And it's not just her. There are other other kids, uh, young adults who are in so this many. too, giving all their money to this guy. I mean, he's just, he's a scam artist, this guy. Oh and my God, it's and, so and sad. I, and I think what kills me, like my husband and I have had discussions about this. I don't know how people get into these cults. Because like, like you said, she was, uh, you know, she was in a great family. They loved her. They yeah, supported they still her. Do. She's, these are good kids. It's not like she was in a broken family. I mean, I can understand it, I guess, when somebody's in a broken family or if they grew up in a, you know, a family that were drugs or alcohol or they just were, you know, neglected in some way. And then they needed to turn to somebody, which is in the case of some of the other previous people that um, he had in the cult, like there was, there were two other girls that you see in this documentary that went because their parents just literally neglected them. They were just abandoned right. by their parents and they needed somebody to take care of them. And so that I get why some people get into cults is they need somebody to love them and take care of them. And they turn to stuff like that. But these girls, you know, this well, girl, just the one, I don't yeah, the, one. the one. I'm sorry, this one. I'm like, I don't understand how this can happen. I just don't. When you come from a family that loves and nurtures you, how can you turn to how? And I guess some people are just so weak minded. <laughs> like, yeah, I just, I am not that kind of a person. I would walk in and if some dude, I, I just see this guy and I'm like, 
you're a freaking con artist. Right. I mean, I it's could just, just tell. how do they fall for this stuff? And I would have, I would have said the same thing about David Koresh. You know, I would have looked at that guy and been like, you are a complete lunatic. I am not going to stay here. Like this is, it goes, it is antithetical to everything against what God wants. Yeah. And so it's bizarre. Right. That, the whole thing is so fascinating. And um, let me make sure the the name of the series is Dancing for the Devil, the 7M TikTok Cult. And so if you haven't seen it, it's just three episodes, very, very quick. It is so interesting. I love cult documentaries. Like I uh, yeah, eat those up with yeah. a spoon. And Anita, Anita makes a good choice. She makes a, a good point. She says, real churches don't isolate you. Exactly. Yes. Why can't people see that? Like, I don't yeah. understand. I've never, and, and that's how I feel about Scientology too. And you, you're not, to, I mean, Scientology isn't Christianity. It's completely different. Right. I don't even know, you, like you pray to some Xenu dog, <laughs> whatever. I don't even know what you do to get to the top of the ladder or whatever that crazy religion is. But I mean, like this one is supposed to be based on Christianity and it's mm -hmm. like, what are you doing? It's just the, it's the nuttiest thing. So yeah, we encourage you to watch it. It's fascinating and so I, so good when i, I watched it, i was like you have to watch this yeah i did and i say that about so many things that she's just like and i'm okay, like oh my but this God. one she, she watched loves, <laughs> she loves the freak shows you guys like she loves the shows where people like eat their couch cushions and stuff and so i'm like i am not watching that but this one i did and it was really fascinating um and you should watch it but man it's and they're still dancing like she you know she puts out a video right. yesterday mm -hmm. dancing her sister does the same thing it is so weird and then miranda has turned off all comments like you can't read any comments because when this came out everybody was like get out of the cult get, get out, out of the cult. you're in a yeah. cult you're in a cult mm -hmm. and she just she is defiant man like she yeah. went off she ran off and married this guy didn't invite a single soul of, from her family to a wedding yeah. um, and her sister, she and her sister used to dream of serving as maids of honor in their, in each other's weddings. And so then for her to get married without even telling her family, like she has been yeah, so freaking brainwashed. She is brainwashed. It's just it's like so cults sad. are, yeah. Cults are a fascinating. It's just a, it's sad and, and fascinating all in one. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. And the fact, in fact, that it's all culminating into it, like a TikTok thing too. So you have this whole social media thing too right. that, that plays into it. So there's just a lot of different elements to the story. Very interesting stuff, you guys. And now it's like every time I see a dancer that I think is really talented, you can tell just based on their location and the background and yeah. the backdrops and stuff, you can tell who's in this cult and who's, who's yeah, not. Who's in who's 7M. Like on their own. Yeah. Who's in 7M and who's not. And a lot it of them is. say it in their bios. They'll mm -hmm. say, you know, management inquiries to 7M management or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the company is a front for the church. And it's all so super sketch. It's sketch. Yeah. It's sketch. Really, really yeah. sketch. It's really weird. Highly mm -hmm. recommend it. Uh, not to join the cult, but to watch the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Don't join the cult, you guys. Don't, Don't do join it. it.